Welcome back to Eye in the Sky Drones. I'm coming back at you with another drone update. And I've been waiting for this guy since its launch. It launched globally earlier, but it didn't hit down into the US until October 8th. And if you know drones, you know I'm talking about the DJI Neo. Here it is, finally came in. Let's test this guy out and see what it does. Okay, so here we have it, the DJI Neo. And if you look how small the box is compared to iPhone 16, this is not the actual Neo, but just this box. You can see the box is only a little bit bigger than the iPhone. So let's get this guy open and let's take a look at what it does. So we have a little tab here, just pull that back and then I think it just pops open here. Uh, I usually don't do unboxings, but I gotta get this guy out. So in the box, of course we have the Neo itself. It's wrapped up in plastic. Let's take it out here. Has the gimbal cover on. And there we have it, the DJI Neo literally fits in the palm of your hand and comparing it the iphone is almost bigger than the neo so let's take a look at right here and then we got some other goodies in the box got the typical dji paperwork authentic things and then i think this box has like screwdrivers extra props and some cables Yep, I was right. Got some. Well, I'll, I'll leave it in there because it has props on it. But if you look at the Neo, these are some of the quick functions that are assigned to it. We have Boomerang, Rocket, Droney. And you can just do that from a palm takeoff. Has some plastic on, charge to activate the battery before first use. So let's get this thing charged and then we'll see what we can do. Now that we have the Neo out of its packaging, you can see the real small form factor of this drone compared next to the iPhone. Not that much bigger. So this will be a perfect companion for small vlogs, on the go, shooting quick pictures. You don't have to bring a remote. That's the magic about this. You can place it in your palm and hit some buttons or even voice command and have it fly out and take some pictures of it for you. One great thing about the Neo, it can be compared with your existing RC2. So if you have a Mavic 3, I'm sorry, a Mavic 4 or Air 3, you can pair it with that remote, or of course the Motion Goggles 3 and the RC remote. I could, not, it's not called RC remote, it's called the Motion Remote. It can be paired with the Motion Remote. Using a remote with the Neo brings a whole new form factor. You can actually fly it farther, take use of the return to home features, everything what you do with a real, a regular DJI drone. This guy is a whopping 135 grams that's very light no need to register this with the FAA because it falls under the weight class this guy can even be flown indoors let's take a look at some of the footage from the Neo to see if you like this quality and what you think about it. okay so as we can see here we have enough satellites for the Avada, I mean, not the Avada, the Neo to lift off. So we're going to do our first takeoff with the Neo. Let's see here. So here we go. We're taking off. Well, let me screen record first. Record and screen and let's see how this first flight goes. There we have it. Home point updated. Let's take off. Let's see how responsive it is. Good. 
There we go. And we will record some video. See what the pictures look like. Here we have actual footage from the Neo. It's shooting in 4K 30. Not too bad for the price point of this drone. Of course, it's not going to be Mavic 3 quality, Air 3 quality, or Mini 4 quality, but it has a solid camera on it. And as you can see, it doesn't do too bad. Now, it can also shoot in 1080p, but here is the 4K 30. Now we're going to see about landing this guy on the screen. I'm just going to put my hand under it. Oops, let me get what hand I'm going to use. Landing. And I was caught right in the hand. Really can't beat it. So I've had a chance to zoom around with this guy and I can say it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm not as worried about crashes and stuff. Of course, I do have the DJI Care, but it wasn't, it didn't break the bank to buy this. $199 plus tax for just a standalone unit, no RC. I already have an Air 3, so I didn't need an RC. I can use that RC, but this guy right here. When we first heard about the Neo, I heard things like Baby Avada, Tiny Cinewhoop, now, I wouldn't classify it as a baby Avada. It's in a class of its own. That's why it's called the Neo. But it's a lot of fun. If you're thinking about picking up a DJI drone, if it's your first one or you just want to learn, you really not into drones, but you like the different aspects of taking pictures from different angles, different areas, something to make your social media pop, the DJI Neo will be that guy. So this Neo is in Series 1, it's the first Neo, I'm pretty sure down the line DJI will make improvements with firmware updates and reiterations that further down the line, but I like this guy. If you have a Neo, tell me what you think about it in the comments. If it's something you plan on getting, or if you want me to make more videos regarding the Neo, let me know, I'll do that. Alright, we're signing off from Eye in the Sky Drones, as always be safe and have fun flying.